What is up, my Rambo programmers? It's Real Touch HTML here, back with another Java tutorial, and today we are going to be continuing on with creating our JFrame. Now, if you've not seen part one, go ahead and click that link in the description, and it will bring you right there. But if you have and you're ready to learn part two, then let's go ahead and continue. All right, so what we need to do here is create an actual JFrame. Now, there is a variable called JFrame, and that's what we're going to be using. Uh, so how you import uh, objects is kind of weird. So you want to do J frame. You want to type J frame. Now please take note that the J and the F are capitalized. So if you just type in J frame like this, uh, it's not going to recognize it, and you'll get an error. So you need to go ahead and type like this J frame. All right. So then we're going to space it off, and we're going to give the variable of our J frame or the name of it. I'm just gonna say frame. That can be anything you'd like. Now we're gonna equal it to a new J frame. Alright, so you will see that we actually get an error here though, and that is because uh, J frame is not imported. So if you hover over J frame, and this is if you're using Eclipse, uh, hover over it and you'll see import J frame Java X dot swing. And if you click on that, as you can see on the top here, it actually imports it for you. And now we get a yellow underline under frame. And if you ever see a yellow underline and uh, under anything, that is because Eclipse knows that we have not used this yet. So this is useless because we haven't used it yet. Um, now we're actually going to go ahead and start up the frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to say frame dot set size. Now, in these in these parentheses here, we can set the size. So I'm going to set a regular uh, game maker dimension, so 640 by 480. And if you did notice, though, I'm actually putting a uh, semicolon uh, after every single line of code, and this is needed, or else you'll get an error. Uh, that's just how Java is. So if you ever get an error and everything is spot on, make sure you got these at the end. All right. Uh, so if you'll notice also I did frame dot so we're using the JFrame functionality we're using JFrame uh, libraries and that JFrame library has the library of set size so we can't just say uh, set size uh, 100 100 will say that won't work because it won't know what you're talking about because that is only for a JFrame uh, only a JFrame can access that uh, that uh, that line of code there. So we have to do a frame dot, and then we can access the JFrame. Uh, and that's what we we use frame dot because that is what we put up here as the name. If we put F, then we if we put F as the uh, as the JFrame name, we would just say F dot set size. So after we set the size frame dot set size, we're we're gonna do frame dot, and we're, I'm gonna say set resizable to false. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. All, all it allows you to do is you can um, kinda like an eclipse here, you can resize the window. If you set that to false, they won't be able to do that, which is pretty useful because you don't want them doing that in your game. Uh, now we're gonna do frame dot set visible to true. Now frame dot set visible it just makes the the window visible now if we go ahead and play it here as you can see we do get a window uh, which is pretty awesome but there is one crucial problem here now if you will notice uh, this is where console comes in if you notice down here in console uh, this this shows if you're running right here this stop button now uh, if you exit this out and it's still and you still see the stop button that means it's still running Okay, or like if I minimize this and I can still see that stop button, that means again it's still running. So watch this. If I exit this out, this window, as you can see, our console is still running. We can terminate that manually, and you don't want that because if you once you export this, your user is not going to have ability to go to console. So we want that X button to actually work. So that's how we're going to do this. So we're going to say frame dot set default close operation jframe dot 
exit on close and that right there is needed um, I mean it's it, it's highly 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 recommended just put it in all right I'm just gonna go with that um, so set default close operation J frame dot and then it's gonna exit on the close so if we play it now as you can see it's running in console we exit it out you can see it manually uh, not manually it automatically terminates it for us so that is very handy uh, one more thing we got here is when you play it your window actually starts in the top left corner uh, and I don't really like that too much and we can actually change that now if this is too overwhelming for you go ahead and uh, go to the next episode now and uh, learn on with that because this is not needed this all we're doing here is positioning the window where it starts off in the top left to the middle so if this is too overwhelming for you that all, all you can do is you know, kinda learn this code right here then go ahead and go to the next video now if not then uh, you know uh, if you want to learn how to put it in the middle then go ahead and keep watching the video and uh, I'll show you how to do that real quick so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is frame dot pack and that's just gonna pack the frame <laughs> um, and now you're gonna want this you know kinda be low kinda in the middle the, the middle code area the chunk kinda like the meat in the sandwich you got the bread and then you got the meat uh, that's where you want this set location relative where the meat would be so you're gonna say frame dot set location location relative to null now one more thing to point out here uh, Java does use a lot of capitalization like set size that s is capitalized uh, set default that D is capitalized that C is capitalized that O is capitalized this V and set visible is capitalized so you really got to take note on on what that is so uh, if we play it now as you can see our frame does start in the middle uh, so that's pretty awesome and you exit out and, and it automatically terminates up for us so that is how you create a basic window um, you know not too advanced uh, Again, let me just go over this real quick. JFrame frame uh, creates the JFrame variable name. Frame dot pack packs the frame. Frame dot set size will set the size of your of your room or of your window. Frame dot set resizable false. That means you can't resize it. If I went ahead and played it here, as you can see, it won't let me resize it. Uh, frame dot set location relative to null. We'll place it in the middle. Frame dot set default close operation J frame dot exit on close will make the X button work and frame dot says set visible will actually uh, make our make our, uh, our our frame visible. So hope you guys learned a lot here. Go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you like my videos, and I will see you guys next video.